Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be underway very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And here we have Barcelona against Real Madrid. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert Jim Beglin. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. Well, this is intense. They talk about it for months, they remember it for years. It matters almost too much when Barca and Real collide. Lineups we've just been given. on the way so Jim tell me this who are you looking for in particular here a guy born to be a footballer Luka Modric always thinking about his next move due to the fact is his technical ability is so strong astute and intelligent he's um, he's such a telling passer he would be the obvious choice wouldn't he he certainly has all the right qualities some excellent tackling here and that one a perfect example Ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. And it's Modric. Hoists it high. That intervention was very necessary. Aim forward. Tries a through ball. Looks like a good ball through. Just deflected behind for a corner. Jao Cancelo plays it short. Can he put it away? Good stop. That wasn't easy. That wasn't the easiest of saves by any means, Peter. And I think his instincts were, well, they were just razor sharp. Jao Cancelo goes short. Can he score? He's missed another one. Yeah, they, they should be out of sight, and they're not because of uh, a little sloppiness in front of goal. Just off target. Cuts it out. Tries to get it forward quickly. Who's going to make this theirs? Gets his foot in there. Tries the route one option. He's made sure that that won't get through. Tried to play it through. 
Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too that wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass. It only needed just a little bit more behind it, and he was through. Goes long and forward. Shoots! And oh! It's broken loose. Chance to shoot. That's caused a worry or two. Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here. Just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. And here we have Barcelona against Real Madrid. I'm Peter Drury, and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. Well, this is intense. They talk about it for months, they remember it for years. It matters almost too much when Barca and Real collide. the lineups for this game the whistle so Jim who would you identify as the key man in this fixture well I've got to go for a man who rarely makes a mistake Thibaut Courtois uh, a great shot stopper but then again so are most other keepers but what sets him apart for me is the way he commands his box um, and marvelous goal and some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. Real Madrid take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? Is it in? He scored! And with the match still in its infancy, they are easing away. Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish too.
Madrid get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead. There's a goal! And they are dragging it back! Game on again! However they tried to stand in his way, he just was not to be denied. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. We have got ourselves a game here. I think they can sense a comeback here, and so can this crowd. It's all systems go now. He was well picked out, just needed a better finish. In this game, you're always striving to, to gain an advantage or produce a, a little surprise element to things, and the quicker the delivery, I think, the more chance you have, and they should have done better there. Oh, he really wanted that. It's tremendous play on his part, Peter, and he's proving to be a, a right handful throughout the game. Pumps it forwards. Decent progress down the left. Gets up to head it! It's a goal! Barcelona are back in business! Oh, an absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. This has become one superb game of football. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well-matched, and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. Tries a through ball. Great leap! Fair attempt, just the wrong outcome. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Locks it towards the front. Locks it in gently. Barcelona with a quick-fire double to bring them back level. Tries to stroke it through. A oh, great ball! And he's on his way! Goal! Real Madrid! And they get themselves in front! <laughs> well, it was a hefty deflection, but he's claiming it. Real Madrid get themselves into the lead. Now it's Lewandowski. Chance! Chip through. And the finish! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Oh, much more than a, than a routine save for me, and, and yet he just coped with, with room to spare.
João Cancelo plays it short. Defending was physical, no nonsense, and it had to be. Well, we were unlikely to see a goal then because there were so many players crowding out that danger area. I think something very special was going to be needed. Aim forward. Lewandowski plays it out to the flank. Lewandowski unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Played out to the right. Pleasingly open affair so far. Goals wherever you look. Boots it upfield. Oh, good interception. Tries to get it forward quickly. Out to the left it goes. João Cancelo battles to win it back. João Cancelo coaxed out to the wing. Spoon forward. Looks to thread it through. And he's made certain that won't get through. Now the pass. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. It's a long forward pass. Cut out in the nick of time. Keeper's got good distance on that. Passes it through. Looks like a good ball through. João Cancelo looking up to see who wants it. Midway through the first period, and it's looking quite a game here. And that's caused a worry or two. Oh, he couldn't have hit that any better. Any other time it would have sneaked in. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. <laughs> Tries a long pass towards the front. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? That's a throw. And it's Lewandowski. Chance to shoot. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. Whistle's gone. That's a foul. Dinks one in. Diving header! Oh, great save, real class. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. Looks to slip it through. That's a brilliant interception. João Cancelo tried to play it through. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too. That wasn't quite matched by the, the right weight of pass. It only needed just a little bit more behind it. And he was through. Hoists it high. Nicely controlled. Oh, didn't catch it right. I think he's having trouble coming to terms with missing a golden opportunity. That may weigh quite heavily. Lewandowski gets it back. Forward it goes. Tries a through ball. 
Face to face with the keeper. Goal! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Yeah, I love the finish, but I think had the pass been delayed for just a second longer, I think he would have been flagged offside, and I think you have to praise them all round on that one from the pass and the finish. He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. Real Madrid, two up and into a position of real strength. Look, this position ought to convince them to increase their lead. I think they should uh, be really positive about this now, Peter. They get a throw in. Oh, that's not going to go down too well with his teammates. Now the pass. Now here's the through ball. Can he find a finish now? They are rampant! Hot knife through butter, they have done it again! A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved, he gave it everything he had. Four in the game, he is the man. Real Madrid grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Passes it through. He has done it! They're back within reach! Oh, that was a close call, but for me, he timed his run to absolute perfection there to stay just onside, and he's still a lot to do, you know, but I think he's tucked that away really well. So, just a consolation, or is there a way back from here? And the referee brings the first half to a close. And we're underway again. Look, before they might get too carried away with thoughts of getting back into the game, they can't afford to slip up and concede another. The next goal becomes crucial. Ball, who's going to get there? Thrust towards the front line. Lewandowski tries running with the ball at his feet. And the defence can get it clear. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Looks like a good ball through. Has a pop! Oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. I think there's always that danger that the defence can get exploited in that way. That must have served as a real wake-up call to them.
ball swung in yeah he's offering an apology for that he needed to deliver a better ball looks to slip it through goes long they must set the right tone now and give themselves a foothold to get back into this. The next goal is key, and they've got to show the hunger and desire to score it. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The idea was good, though, Peter, and I like the run that triggered the pass, but the quality was the problem. Well, it's a safety in numbers approach to defending here. Yeah, but dropping deep can bring more trouble, yeah? Well, shots from distance and, and space in wider positions, besides the obvious issue of inviting most of your opposition high up the pitch. It's a good-looking cross. Not this time. Yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. <laughs> Who's going to make this theirs? Passes it through. Now here's the through ball. Brought forward. What does he try from here? Battles to win it back. Keeper's ball. Tries the route one option. Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. Out wide to the right. Tries a through ball. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Hurls himself at it. What about it? Surely now, beyond all doubt. Oh, super header, wonderfully acrobatic. You know, it takes a lot of courage to do that, to throw yourself at the ball knowing you can catch a boot in the head. Well done, son. Real Madrid asked themselves into a three-goal lead. He's not played the ball, that's a foul. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? Gets it back. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Gets into some space. 
Played into the middle. He's gone for it! And with the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. I think when you're in front of goal like that, you really should do better. That's a poor finish in the end. It so nearly came off for him. Well, he went at it with great confidence, and it's not going to stop him from trying again. Plays it out to the wing. Now the pass. Now the cross. Big relief, it just needed better contact. Right in front of goal like that, and he's gone and missed it. I won't have to tell him that's not good enough. Long and forward, passes it through. A lovely bit of skill. Aimed long and direct. Pumps it upfield. Now it's Lewandowski. Looks like a good ball through. Looks to slip it through. Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. Well, that's an illustration of how good they are on the break. I mean, all the pace and power needed to go at it with, with real vigour then. Tries a through ball. Tries the volley! Final touch was poor. Played it short. Clears it out of harm's way. Tries the route one option. Pumps it into the area. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Oh, he's managed to get himself <laughs> offside. Out to the left it goes. Jao Cancelo battles to win it back. Now the pass. A chance! Who's going to make this theirs? Thrust towards the front line. Plays it out to the wing. And it's Lewandowski. Looks to slip it through. He's in space and looking for options. Tries a long pass towards the front. Looks like a good ball through. Could try cutting inside here. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Tries to get it forward quickly. Official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Lewandowski. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Passes it through. Chance! Spoon forward. And that's it. Out-muscled, out-manoeuvred, out-witted. They just couldn't find any way into the game, and they are comprehensively beaten. So there it is. What struck you most about that? Yeah, defeat in, in any of these type of games is, is the ultimate disappointment. You can't fault the effort and the endeavour we saw, but they probably just lacked a, a little adventure and not enough ambition in their play, and ultimately I think they paid the price.